Let's learn how to rationalize a denominator. For example, let's rationalize the denominator of this expression and write our answer in simplified form. Looking at this denominator here, we have an irrational number here and an irrational number here. Remember, to rationalize the denominator means to make the denominator a rational number. And we can do that by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And remember, the conjugate is the same expression, but we just change the minus to a plus. And if we multiplied our denominator by this, we need to multiply our numerator by this as well. Let's put parentheses here so we know that we're going to FOIL both the numerator and denominator. So what do we get? Looking at the numerator here, we have 3 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 5. And the square root of 2 times square root of 5 is square root of 10. And 3 times 3 is 9. So this is equal to 9 square root of 10. The outer term is 12 square root of 4. The inner term is negative 6 square root 25. And the last term is negative 8 square root of 10. What about the denominator? When we FOIL this out, we have 9 square root of 25. The outer term is plus 12 square root of 10. And the inner term is minus 12 square root of 10. And the last term is minus 16 square root of 4. Now by multiplying by the conjugate, these outer and inner terms in the denominator will cancel. And what are we left with? We have 9 square root of 10 and then plus 12 square root of 4. But the square root of 4 is 2, so we have plus 24. And then minus 6 square root of 25 and square root of 25 is 5, so this is minus 30, and then minus 8 square root of 10. Divided by, we have 9 times the square root of 25, or 9 times 5, which is 45, and then minus 16 times square root of 4, but square root of 4 is 2, so it's minus 32. Now let's combine like terms. This 9 square root of 10 minus 8 square root of 10 gives us positive 1 square root 10. So this is equal to square root of 10. And then 24 minus 30 is negative 6, and the denominator is 13. And we have rationalized our denominator and written our answer in simplified form. So this would be our answer. And this is how we rationalize a denominator. We multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.